What's up, Subi friends? Yeah, so today we're gonna kick back, wash the Subi. Let's get started. So earlier this month, we got the active short gun in the mail. Been using it for about three or four washes now, and I really do like it. But side note, out of comparison, I had a cheap Amazon $20 special. So I don't really have much to compare it to, but I, I like it. I dig it. It's funny looking, but I still like it. Works great with the active 2.0 washer. Anyways, let's start. All right, so earlier this month, we also updated to the Flexzilla 5.8 hose. It's super nice. It also goes great with the, what, 5.8 water hose that we just upgraded to. So yeah. That was a good upgrade. Okay, I want to do the wheels first. We want the orange tip. And I'm just gonna unroll all of this craziness. I like the way this hose feels also. But mostly it's because I was using a super cheap hose from Amazon because I was building my pressure washer setup. And we can't all afford that very expensive people whose name I won't mention garage solutions setup. Let's come around here, I'll show you. I wonder how much of me was on camera. Yeah, it's a 5.8 water hose. I just have it running through here. Turn on the water. And we should have water. Yay! This is a really good looking gun. Now that you can see it when it's not out in the, um, when it's not in the shadow. I like, I like the color. I like the way it matches the other one. It kind of reminds me of aliens a little bit. I heard another person say that it reminds them of um, a bottleneck dolphin. <laughs> Ain't funny. Anyways, let me switch the mic, see if this other one's charged. There. 20 minutes to set up, I swear. All right, so, so we got our Diablo wheel cleaner and our Chemical Guys foam bottle, foam cannon. And if you know, watch the last wash and talk. The reason I like that one so much because of the big opening. Now I know the other one I mean, basically, it's a foam cannon. That foam's the car. I don't know why people are like, oh, you need to buy this one. You need to buy that one. You also need to turn on your pressure washer. Also, I don't know why I put this on when you're about to foam the car. Monday. Was I recording? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, people be like just speeding up and down the street right now. Hold on. So 
sounds like this is clogged. Oh, we're not off to a good wash and talk start, are we? That's all right though. You know why? Because I have nothing to do today but hang out with you guys, which is cool. So, most recent update to this car, I did the AOS. Let me tell you, if you've never done one of those before, I think you should do it, just because. I mean, some things are challenging, but that is one that was like, okay, no, it wasn't challenging, it was just a pain in the ass. Very hard on the back. But we got it done. I mean, it wasn't too hard. And the reason that I wanted to do that one is because when I first got the car a few months ago, a friend of mine told me that was the first thing he did on his car. And he said, that was the first thing you should do on your car. But of course, you know, I didn't really listen. And I did what everything but that. So now, I mean, so now we have it done, which is good. So I have like a few more upgrades that I want to do. Obviously the radiator being one and the intercooler second. Of course to get a Dom tune, which is still sitting on the workbench. Toolbox, workbench, whatever you want to call it. But it's like, okay, the gear oil, you know, the smell of gear oil was like, bleh, smelled like straight up ass. But then you got the smell of antifreeze, which is worse to me. I mean, I don't know why I just don't like it. I don't like weird chemical smells. Speaking of weird chemical smells, this, what is that? Oh, the chemical guys over the Adams smells a lot better. I like it. Also, their iron cleaner is, smells a lot better, which I'm gonna do a quick iron wash on this too. Iron wash, you know what I mean. Basically, it's a decon bath is what most people all the professionals call it. Which I should make a big fat note. I am not a professional detailer. So if you see me doing things differently, feel free to comment. I don't really care though, but feel free to comment. <laughs> Let me know. Which I'm sure you already will. Seriously, love these wheels. These are the Wirt ZR10 and the matte bronze. However, I do love the way TEs look on other people's cars, but if they were free, should my voice just crack? Puberty. But yeah, if they were free, then I would totally get them. Those are some expensive mofos, and I can't afford it. Oh. I've never noticed this before about the swivel on the short gun. Super nice. The crazy thing is like, they put the, a click in the trigger, which somehow bothers some people, but to me, I don't, know, I don't even notice it. I do find it kind of useless though, in a way. But it's cool, and I appreciate it. 
Also, I appreciate this rubber grip they put on there, which nobody else was doing. So, props on that, active. Good job. Wheel number two, wait. We're gonna do this and not squirt all over days. I think it was just because it was clogged or it was, I didn't clean it out after I last used it. I don't know. I don't know why I just did that. Weird. Here we go. I'm not sure if all the active T-Poi nose have to squeeze the trigger and then it builds pressure. I don't know how I feel about that. I never noticed it until a couple of weeks ago. So when I first started using the, the new shortcut. I still hate this thing because it's still like sometimes throws or sprays cleaner all over you. That was the, what I call it, the okay way of putting it, the clean version of putting that. You know, I forgot missed a spot. I forgot to do the, I forgot to do this on the other one. One second. Let's get that. There you go. So yesterday I was gonna do this, the wash and talk, except the reverse lockout cable was super stiff and I don't know why. Well, we're not done. So I have to take apart the shifter linkage where we did the cartboy short shifter. Was it cartboy? I think it's cartboy. Yeah, cartboy short shifter. We have to take that all apart and find out why, including crawling underneath of the car and make sure the cable was good. But what turned out was that the reverse lockout column was just just a little, it was the problem. It was like stiff or something. Like it needed to be greased or there was something, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm horrible at explaining things. But we had to fix that. And then I took it all apart, put a little grease on it. So like down in the cables, like a little, just a tiny, tiny bit. But as soon as I got it off, since I got the shifter off, the reverse linkage off, um, it started working fine. Like I pulled the cable, it like, it started just working perfectly fine. I don't even know. I don't get it either. But that was a waste of about four hours. No, maybe like two. But it felt like four. So that's why this didn't happen yesterday. Plus, the weather was super nice yesterday. It was about to rain, but it wasn't gonna rain, you know? It was not 100 degrees. Yeah, all over my face. Now we can rinse. And can't forget to do the other the front part. Let's do that first, right back. Wait. 
Are you clean? Oops, sorry, just bang that microphone a bunch. <laughs> Why does it do that? It just stays on for like a really long time and then you squeeze it, it's like super strong pressure. Watch. Hmm, it didn't do it. All right, let's move to the other side. Over to the other side. Like the two tree of the park girls. Yeah, right there. And we're back. I do like the swivel. My other one didn't have that. It feels pretty good. Why are you way over here? You get over there. See ya. Diablo wheel cleaner. The reason I haven't switched to the other brand, what's it called, Brake Buster, is because I still got about a three quarters of a gallon of this stuff left over. That's a lot. This car really is not that dirty. So I haven't really driven it much since my last wash. So it's not gonna really take very long, but I'm still gonna give it the full Dante wash. Cause why not? So you know how earlier I mentioned I was gonna do some of the other upgrades I was gonna do? One of them, so, okay. Here in California, you need like your carb stickers on everything. So when you get pulled over, you can be like, well, this is legal, so. And it doesn't happen often, but you will, it will happen to you at least once. It's just unavoidable. You always get that one person, right? So you can, so he, this is what'll happen, basically. He'll pull you over, he'll ask you to open your trunk, your hood, your bonnet, if you're in a different, if you're over the pond. <laughs> he'll just ask you to pop the hood, and he'll say, he'll look under there and inspect it. Which brings to another point, and they ask you to pop your hood, isn't that covered under the Fourth Amendment, which is search and seizure? Isn't that an illegal search? Because I mean, you just ask, you need to pop your hood. I wonder if you could say no. Which would cause you a whole other bunch of problems if you do say no. So you're kind of, all right, I'm getting off topic. Okay, so, he asks you to pop your hood and then he'll look for anything that is not, that does not have a carb sticker on it. And I don't have a picture of a carb sticker. But, so if it doesn't, it's a special sticker for emissions in California. So if you don't have a sticker on some of the modifications underneath your hood on the car, if you wanted to, he could impound it or he can write you a ticket saying, take it off. And when you take it off, you take it to CHP and they sign it off for you. Or you have a friend sign it off for you. Or you will get a state ref. And the state ref is a special special smog check person where he goes underneath your car and checks to make sure everything is smog compliant. Which means you gotta take everything off. If you don't have that sticker, you gotta take everything off, put it back to stock, take it to the state ref, and blah, 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 blah. Pay in the butt, right? So if you have the sticker, it's small compliant and you're okay. 
So, back to what I was saying about the intercooler that I was going to get is the Mishimoto intercooler because it has it comes with a carb sticker. Same with the Cobb AOS. Same with a lot of Cobb products, actually. Cobb makes a lot of California friendly stuff, like the recircular valve. It's expensive, it's 300 bucks. Costs more than that Turbo Smart that I have on there now. But it's also, it will save you a little bit in the long run. So that's one mod that I'm looking into. And as far as the radiator, I've been looking at the coil rad as well as the Mishimoto X-Line. I don't know why I'm looking at the Mishimoto X-Line. Everybody runs a coil rad. I saw the Mishimoto on one build video, which was the... What build video was that? The throttle, STI build, go check that out. They're using Mishimoto X-Line. That's the only time I've ever seen that radiator being used. So I have been looking into those two radiators. As well as getting an access port. Why do I want an access port, you might be wondering. You're not going to be making power, you're not going to do tuning or anything. It's basically for the gauges. I mean, it's that way I can see, okay, car's running hot. Maybe I will want to upgrade the intercooler. Maybe I won't want to run, uh, upgrade the intercooler. Maybe coming up the freeway to the high desert when it's 120 degrees out, low desert, Palm Springs area, when it's 120 degrees out there, Maybe I would want to know if the car is happy. Or if I need to call AAA. So that's my thought. That's the reason for wanting the access port. You know what I need is a hose assist. Somebody just take the hose away and do that for me. You know? Got photo assistance, why not a hose assistant? Now recently I did this up uh, speaking of like you know assistance, well anyways. So I recently updated the no tech exhaust. I think I talked about that in my last wash video. I recently updated the no tech exhaust, which is a Nice exhaust, it's expensive as hell too. I didn't know it was that expensive. It's like the same price as the Cobb Titanium. Crazy, right? For a no-name exhaust company out here, because they're based in England. Those guys are expensive. But I did update to the Touring Edition. And I like it. I like it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. You're probably wondering why I'm not cleaning the backsides. It's because I did that last time and they're not that dirty. I don't think. I'm gonna pick up some more of this. I don't feel like this is as strong as the Adams. However, it just does smell good. 
that or my tires just weren't that dirty. Which is probably that because I haven't really been driving this much. Beautiful. Wheels. Wheels clean. I love those wheels. I love that whole combination. And I say it a lot. I think it just looks bomb. Uh, let's get this car rinsed off. Right back, y'all. All right. Um. Let's get you off of here. Come with our yellow. This yellow or orange? Wait, definitely orange. Let's get our orange tip off of there. I don't know about you guys, but I always do a pre-rent. Which I know. Somebody's gonna be like, you don't need to do that. If you're gonna spray iron remover all over it. Here we go. So, iron remover. This is actually two different chemical brands mixed together. Hmm, scary. I still hate the smell. I don't even know the last time I did a decon wash. That would have been six months ago. Yeah, about six months ago. Damn. Which is, I don't see any color changing happening right now. Kind of disappointing. Did I mention I hate this smell too? I 
Everything's a smell with me, I know. I see nothing. 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 See, do we see anything at all? Uh, we'll give it a minute. So, I am still using, this is how much I have left, and I bought this back in November, no, probably November, I think during Black Friday, but I mean, so far, this is pretty good, and I've been washing this car and the other car, and sometimes my sister's car when she comes over. This car has zero iron contaminants on it. Wow. Okay. Let me get this rinsed off real quick. How long are you supposed to wait anyways? Maybe? I know you just spray it on and then you rinse it off. So yeah, last time. Very on. Change power to one to five minutes. It's been like two minutes, three minutes. All I see is Zeno purple. Cool. Maybe you should drive it more. <laughs> yeah. This right here is the MTM, MTM extension. It's actually pretty nice. Iron remover removed. Now for the fun part. The foam. Foam party? What was that for? Oh. And the dad was like, foam party? It was on Spider-Verse.
Dang, I love how this goes on. Let me put you over here. That's a lot of foam. Hmm. This will make a good thumbnail. Scrub it. Soap and wash, rinse, bucket. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you this. So. Okay, so the Chemical Guys dirt traps, right? They only fit inside of the, the Chemical Guys buckets. And these things are expensive, like 15 bucks for one of them. But if you're a Harbor Freight person, Harbor Freight has been selling the grants, which are the exact same thing, basically. Do the exact same thing, but they fit inside your everyday bucket. Right? $4 each instead of paying $14 for one. Also, Chemical Guys. Grants. Chemical Guys. Grants. $7. Oh, $7. $4. Harbor Freight. They're the exact same shit, dude. Like, seriously, Chemical Guys? I respect the hustle. But that's all I gotta say. Let me get this car wash before all the soap goes away. Cause that would just suck. It's so weird washing this car or seeing this car without the rails on it. It's so weird. But I had to put them back because I do like sometimes taking this car up, down, down to the beach with my surfboard. But what I don't like is how the gas in this car is way more money than it would be to take my other car. But I like the way it looks. And looks is all that matters. Right? Right. Right. Somebody out there right now, you're doing it wrong. You're watching your car wrong. Dude, calm your tits. And I probably am doing it wrong. Let me know if I am. As if I need to say that.
but I do the best I can. I do it how I like doing it. It's like Photoshop. There's a million ways to make a picture in black and white. Okay, not a million, but you get the analogy. Is it an analogy? You know what also I don't quite understand? The, it's the whole PPF craze. I mean, PPF wasn't around 10 years ago, was it? And now everybody, oh my gosh, you gotta get the PPF on it to protect the paint. You gotta do it. Oh, I don't like washing the car if it's not coated. I hate it. Dude. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm sure it is just me. You should start at the top, not on the hood. Because if you don't, your car will explode. Yeah, okay, I realize I'm just talking shit right about now. So, let's just change the subject. Unless you want to talk about how I wash my car. No, actually, I was going to talk about Fast X, but we're not. But we will talk about how we went to see it. No spoilers, just right now, just so you know. This is not going to be any kind of spoiler. So we went to go see it. We grabbed it last week? Yeah, last week. We'll just say a week ago, not last week. Let's say a week ago. Okay, so we went to go see Fast X. We hand our tickets to the... Ticket girl, and the ticket girl looks at us and says, this movie isn't out yet. This doesn't come out until next week. We look at each other like, wait, what's today? And she said, it's like the 15th or something. I don't forgot what date it was actually. But anyways, the whole thing is we showed up to the movie a week early because I didn't really look at the ticket date. I just bought tickets. <laughs> Who does that? She's kind of cute too, but still, not the point. Duh, me. But I will say, I did like the movie. I don't care how many they make, how stupid they make them, I will most likely always go and see them. I'll even pay to see them. Because for like, actually no. For most of you guys, that's where it started. But for people like me, it started with Knight Rider and the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, dude, you're old. And I didn't put the car in far enough. Let's get this back part. Uh, you want to know something crazy? Is that I ordered my personalized license plate 10 weeks ago, 12 weeks ago, 10 weeks ago. Anyways, around there, and I still haven't got it yet. I don't know if it takes some inmates to make a license plate. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But for all, dude, how long does it take to make a license plate? Dang, I'm just popular today. I'm really not, it's just a personal ad. I say that to people all the time, they never quite get it. All right, let's get this baby rinsed. Over 
here, out my way. Where is, oh, there's the phone. Okay. Quick rinse. Quick-ish rinse. I just realized I didn't wash the front bumper. Let's just really quickly do that. And it wasn't dirty, I'm just saying I didn't rinse it or wash it. And we can't have that. That's not a good happy accident for me. In case you're wondering, I do flip my wash mitt upside down, right side up, all the time. Cool. You're clean now. So, my impressions of this gun, I'm gonna tell you when I'm done. Sweet. My wall. It's kind of dirty, wet a little bit. I really am going to invest in a wand holder. So I don't like to lean it on the ground like that. Uh, change camera angles? Yep, why not? She clean, finally. Okay, you're on there nice and securely. This is all good for me. What I do want to invest in is the air cannon blower. The main thing I don't like about that is not that it, you have to plug it up. There's a cord. And these are just cheap and basically do the same thing. I don't know why I filmed all of that, but I did. Okay. I'm gonna quickly... The 
This is a good part because it cleans the garage floor. But I mean, the garage is on a slope. Not a slope, but I mean, the garage is like slanted downwards a little bit. So all the water does drain outside like it's supposed to. I mean, that's how you're supposed to. That's how I think every garage is. Don't quote me though, because I don't know that. But, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I need to scoot this car up a little bit. Because the back is in the sun. Oh, yeah. Do you love that sound? Just gonna grab some towels. Favorite towels are from the rag company. They don't have a type. They don't have a, a tag on it, so. But they're these gray ones. You can find them on Amazon. They're like the super thick boys for drying. As always, bead maker. Still got a lot of this left over too. Yeah, we're not gonna do this right now. So we're gonna do a quick polish of the roof. And you know, I mentioned earlier about ceramic coating. I should say that I do have this car ceramic coated with the Adams graphite, the gold bottle, the two-year one, advanced graphite spray bottle. And it's supposed to last two years, which is perfect for me because then I just reply it in two years instead of replying it in eight years. So I don't see any advantage of doing it by paying a hundred dollars and then having to redo it later. Because I don't mind redoing it or reapplying it. So for me, the $28 bottle is more beneficial and made more sense to me. So that's what we did. And it works. So, hey, it does have some crazy hydrophobic properties that's what they explain it on the interwebs so like when you're washing the car you can see um, the water beating up really fast and when you're pressure washing it you can see the water just going it's pretty neat that looks good finally I was wondering when that was gonna turn off you know what I'm gonna switch microphones because I want to know the difference in sound. But first, let me show you. For like later, when I'm editing, I want to be like, oh yeah, I can hear the difference. Now I should start using this one more. Maybe I should start using this one more. Because with this being like so close to your mouth, with you moving around all the time, you're kind of like breathing heavier, breathing more heavy. So you're like, And that picks up on camera. And then somebody was like, you're kind of breathy. You should take a short run or 30 minute walk every day. I'm like, yeah, dude, I like breathing. I am moving up and down. Oh wait, did you know that also? I run about eight miles a day, a week. Yeah, I usually go like once a week now. Before, when I was running, I would do five miles to 13 miles. Hold on. So yeah, I was doing um, about 10 mile runs a day, or I should say a week, twice a week. Okay, yeah, twice a week I would go for a run. And then I stopped because for one, I kept losing weight. 
like too much weight. I think I got down from, well actually I was overweight at the time. I felt like I was overweight. But anyways, I was losing too much weight, so I had to cut back on all the runs, which kind of sucked. But, yeah. That's the whole reason, the whole little rant was just because. Hmm, that's a good angle. I think I need to move you again. But yeah, the whole little rant was just because of microphone choices. I know this microphone's not even picking up a whole lot. You can probably hear that bird more than you can hear me. It's super nice out today, so I don't mind that bird being in the background. Let me switch sides. Put you over here. There, I feel like it's less um, backlit. This paint still looks good, I think. I think. Okay. One thing I did not do is clean my exhaust tips. I'm also still waiting for AWE to send the black tips. So right now I still have the chrome ones. And if you watch the video of the chrome ones, or why I have the chrome ones, then you know. One thing I do like are these towels. I don't know how they did it, what they made them out of. I could probably look it up. But they just suck up the water. And you never have, I've never had to wring out one of these towels. And I like these short ones. I like this size or the bigger ones just because you can like handle them better. They don't touch the floor. Got to get the gas cap. Other side. You can see where the roof rails indentation was. It definitely needs a polish. Not like a paint correct, but just a polish to remove that line. And I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put the things right back on me. I don't know why I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I just don't like it, knowing that it's there. So I'm curious to what you guys think about the whole intercooler. I mean, they're all gonna happen. I don't know what order, but I mean, they're all gonna happen. But I'm curious to think, what do you guys think of that intercooler idea? No, I'm not planning on making, doing mod of power mods. These are strictly cooling mods. Keep the car cold and happy. When sometimes I want to pass somebody on the freeway at a ridiculously high rate of speed. Um, ignore that part. No proof. No evidence. Which is another thing I do not understand why people are driving on your videos. I'll see them driving, doing like pools and everything, canyon runs, 
It'll be like a hundred and something miles an hour. Dude, it's on video. Why are you doing that? You're just like incriminating yourself. I gotta do the back. Oh, maybe that's just me. But I just never thought that was a very smart idea. And if I was a cop, I was watching your video, I'd be like, you know what? I'm writing you a ticket. Because there's a video of you on this date doing this. So, surprise, motherfucker! Here we are, back to the front. There, cool. Looks pretty clean and fresh. Hands are too smooth. Towel is too smooth. So it's slippery. I love these towels. So, the short gun from Acta is pretty good. I don't have my other one to compare it to show you to compare it to. It was a $20 Amazon special. Which is why I think this one is like so much better. And um, the hose I was using was a quarter inch instead of this 5 8 Quick pause. Always gotta do the door jams. Make sure your door jams are good. That's the one of the main things I look at when I see other people's cars. Your door jam is clean. Mine are. They weren't when I first got it. Funny enough, I actually have a video of me cleaning the car when I first got it that I never posted. I should go through and look at that. I hope I still have it. There has been an accident with all my data. And the videos. All right, let's go to the other side. This video might be a little bit darker than normal because I saw my polarizer on there. Which is a fantastic polarizer for outdoors. Inside of the car is super clean still. I think I had anybody in it since I last washed it, which is like two weeks ago. I mean, besides the junk inside of it, I shouldn't say junk. I mean, you know, like you're a photog when you roll around with a gimbal in your back seat and tripods, GoPro suction cups. Yep. All right, I think we're done with the outside of the car. 
Just going to do the wheels. Yeah, just do the wheels. We're good. We are good to be friends. I do dislike having to get that wire from in between the hub ring and the wheel axle on that. No complaints, I know. First world problems. Cool. Also, you know what I still like are the color of these brake calipers. Most people don't like them, but I still like them. Alright, so for tire dressing, I have been using this. Hold on, because you like to focus everywhere else. I've been using this, and it looks very good. It's like, it does, it does what it says, it's a natural shine. It's not too glossy, it's not flat, flat. You know, I do like it when it's flat, but I don't like it when it's shiny. I hate that shiny. Super maximum power shine. Look, I can't stand that. On my tires, I can't stand it. Other people's tires, I think it looks good. If they like it, but that's the look they're going for. But yeah, I usually just put it on. And then I kind of try and take it back off. I mean, I rub it enough so I can slightly get it back off. But I do rub it in a fair amount. There's also, okay, yeah, I definitely, absolutely forgot to use the air blower on the wheels because there's soap suds all up in there. There, let's see if we can see it. Not too shiny, but it's not too not shiny. I think it looks good. Also, it smells good. And you know me. What's the temperature today? It's only 83. Oh wait, no. Let's get to 83. It feels warmer. Good part is the floor will dry a lot faster. Why don't you just open this back door up? And the floor dries. Because I don't have Swiss tracks. Like some people. Which is a really, really good idea. But another one of those ideas, you know, flying the icing could have. I love that. I am so like, every time I walk to the car, I smile when I see that titanium axle nut. Whenever I see the wheels, period. Got the gyro disc three two-piece brake rotors. Yep. They look good. They look so good. I mean, little tiny details are what this wheel is setup is all about. So I didn't put any dressing, any more dressing on this tire, on this thing, which is like a cheap piece of glued together joke from Amazon. I forgot who made it. But they fell apart right away. They were good for absolutely one use and one use only. Alright, I know I'm blocking the camera. We gotta wrap this up. 
lunches. It's lunch time. Lunch time means in and out time. Groovy. Like a drive-in movie. So, all my corners are like used up somehow. Ignore that. I don't even know what I meant by it. I still got bubbles in the corners. I should have just got the leaf blower and took care of that. Cool. You're done. Look at you, all clean looking. That's the tire shine look that I like. Not too much, not too little. It's clean, it's not too obvious. It's just. I kind of want to buy that Hyde's brake rust cleaner. You know, it's one you spray on the brakes. See, it stops the rest in there, but I feel like it's kind of a waste of $18 plus $13 shipping. I feel like that's just a waste of money. All right. Then clean the tips. Okay, so real quick, I just want to bring up these two things. So, the active short gun that they just came out with, uh, um, it is pretty good. I like it. It's smooth when you pull the trigger. I like the stainless steel fittings. I actually, I actually do like this design. The gun, as well as the functionality of the gun. As far as the price goes, uh, that's just, that's hard to say because I know there's the ones that are in a little bit lower price range that do just as good. But there's also ones that are just ridiculously expensive like the Apple version of a short gun. I mean, there's no freaking way I would ever pay so much money <laughs> for a short gun. That's all I gotta say about the price part, yeah. That's all I gotta say about that part. But as far as this one goes, I really do like it. And if you pair it with the Flexzilla hose, you just, it's just an awesome experience. And you got the, Active 2.0 pressure washer. They're both made by the same company as a short gun. Active pressure washer 2.0 as well as the short gun. I like, I like them. And I have tried a few in the past, so I can compare them to the other ones. In the mid-range price point, they're, they're, no wait. They're absolutely a great home DIY car washer enthusiast home person who likes to um, just so simply, you know, wash the car. Now, if you're a professional and you do this on a daily, there are some professionals that said they do like the active pressure washer as well as their new short gun. As far as, you know, their daily driver. Hate, oh, why did I just say that? I hate when people say that. As far as their everyday user use. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, short version of this is I'm happy with that purchase. I'm happy with that purchase. If you have the funds, and if you're looking in the market to buy, you know, a pressure washer setup, this is a good way to go. I also wanna add that I've been saving up and building, getting small stuff, and then later on replacing it with a little bit better stuff, you know? Had a cheap hose and a cheap gun that were good for a while, but then I had an extra cast, so I upgraded the hose. Then I had a little bit of extra cast, and I upgraded the gun, because I saw that they were making it. And I really was happy with their pressure washer, and that's why I got the gun. So, with that being said, take it as you will. I mean, you know what I'm gonna say. I mean, look at the design. It's just so minimal, and cool, and sleek. It's no Krinsla, 
but I ain't got Krenzler money. I do got house payment money. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. I'm gonna leave it at that. And everybody, have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace out.